They had like a fast track visa for Trump refugees here. I mean, I think it would actually benefit the province. Canadian born Jasmine Hoover is married to an American. She says the troubling political landscape in the States has her family concerned. There's a lot of anger and divisiveness all the time and you couldn't really avoid it. So I found myself just being negative more often than I like to be. And so it was just kind of that atmosphere everywhere you go. Hoover landed a job three and a half weeks ago as the new librarian at Cape Breton University. She says deciding to move from Texas to the island was easy after Donald Trump's threats to end NAFTA, which threatened her work visa and the uncertainty around the future of Obamacare could impact her husband's health care coverage. Because he had a health, a health condition, a heart condition that um, counted as a pre-existing condition, so he wasn't able to access insurance until he got to Canada, and then he was astounded that he could go see a cardiologist here. Well, people are actually leaving and coming, and I think that, that it's uh, worked well to our advantage. Hoover's boss at CBU says her family is being welcomed with open arms. It's been good for everyone, the Trump bump, and we ended up with a fantastic uh, new librarian out of the deal. I'm excited to move to Canada to see mom. Hoover says her four-year-old son and husband can't wait to move. He's like a diehard Canadian, like you would never know he's from the States. While Hoover's son and husband spend their last July 4th in Texas, next month they will be driving north to make Cape Breton their home. Gary Mansfield, CBC News, Sydney.